and what is going on YouTube? Just another gaming channel bringing you just another video. So, ladies and gentlemen, Merry Christmas. I apologise for not uploaded videos in a few days. Um, I should have been uploading a lot more. I do really do apologise. And uh, I'm sorry I've not put this video up yet. Not that it's that important, but it's the Ego Talent Armour set. Now, it's much easier to get the full set now, obviously, since they've finally done what they were supposed to. Um, but uh, I will... To do the armor set anyway. Now I've had the armor set for quite a while. The only thing I was missing was the boots, which I actually got randomized just before the uh, update came out, so I didn't actually have to buy them, which was good. Um, ignore the ignore the power level. It's just because I've just put on this armor and none of it's upgraded. Um, so let's have a look at this armor set, which is a very nice set to look at. Um, I like the colors, I like the silver and gold, I like the gray, um, I like the helmet design, and we'll have a look at that. We'll have a look at the lore. And then we'll obviously apply some shaders, some of the new stuff, see what's what. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. So, let's have a look. Ego Talon full set. Um, question everything, accept nothing. Tyra can't. Okay. It's a bit cryptic. Question everything, accept nothing. Actually, that's what I was taught on my PhD. <laughs> Even if people have uh, actually uh, stated something, don't just accept it. Go research it, research their research, research their researchers' research. Uh, yeah, so good advice, actually, in all things. The problem is in today's society, we just see, see a headline, and, you know, it's obviously a lot of it is, I hate to use this term, but fake news, especially on the Republican side, you know, <laughs> the conservative side. Uh, but, yeah, people just read the headline, think they know the whole story, and it, it just... It sways public opinion, uh, but anyway, let's get back to the helmet. So this is—I think this is uh, one of the best-looking, actually, armor sets and probably helmets in game. It's just so sleek. It's so, so kind of nice, isn't it? It reminds me, for some reason, well, it says Talon in the game. Maybe that's why I'm thinking this, but it reminds me of an eagle, for some reason. I don't know, like the back with the spread wings and separated feathers. I'm not quite sure the streamlined aerodynamic design, but it's a fantastic design there. Um, I like, I like the standard choice of colours, unless I've changed the colours, but I'm pretty sure this is the standard colour, the silver and gold, fantastic. Um, and the design, it almost reminds me of Cylons from Battlestar Galactica as well, you know, the visor bit. I know they don't have the vertical visor, but something about it, the shape of the helmet, the, the, the visor eyepiece, I don't know, but yeah, it looks awesome. Imagine wearing that and it's all digitised on the inside, scanning your environment. Always reminds me of uh, that first mission on Rise of Iron where you're walking up mountain on your own, and I always like to wear it for each walk up armor with a big fur collar, and you're like fully enclosed inside your armor, and you're walking up with weapons and it's big armor around you, keeping you warm, and you're on your own on this icy mountain. I don't know how that brings me like comfort. It just does. Weird, eh? I know. Anyway, let's get to the arms. Look at look. A nimble mind makes a nimble trigger finger. I call a ray. Okay, so this looks like it's some sort of. Um, collective armor set giving advice from collective guardians that's interesting so i like i mean the arms are very simple um i mean we might as well look at the the warlock band while we're here and we'll, we'll have a look at the, it closer but like, the other band's got the talon around the eagle type thing with the talons spread out the wings um you know that solid with gold band solid silver with gold band and the arms really simple but like, they've got a quality to them aren't they the the intricate designs of the gloves and how there's multiple layers to them, pad in, um, all these creases and lines embedded, engraved, almost engraved into the armour piece. They must have some functionality. Maybe it allows flexibility and durability in material design, I don't know. I like the yellow stripe as well, the contour that runs around the gloves fingers, the hands, the, up, up the forearm, matches the entire design. This is symmetrical, which is fine, you know I like asymmetrical stuff as well, um, but yeah, this is fine, absolutely fine. And um, again, Really simple, but there's a lot of very intricate detailing in there, which uh, is what I like about the one few things that I now like about Destiny. Oh, this game has so much potential, guys. Oh, Bungie, they've lost all credibility as a... Oh, damn it. It's Destiny's still good, though. Like, I, I was going to do a video entitled, Why Do I Still Play Destiny? And the simple fact is, I have a lot of games that require intense thought and concentration, the big epic adventures, like... The recently bought Neo Automata or Gravity Rush, which I've not played yet, or Horizon Zero Dawn, which are massive, epic, amazing games, but like you can't just put them on for 20 minutes or an hour. And like, this is what's good about Destiny it's just a, 
feel good, feel safe, put it on, don't have to think about, oh, you can watch something while you play, just shoot some shit, get your grind done. And that's what I like about Destiny. And the gunplay, they've still nailed the gunplay. Okay, so, to know the universe, you must first know yourself, I call Ray. So, existentialism, universal philosophy there, I don't know what you want to call it, but wow, we're going deep. So again, this fantastic design with the talent, Talon spread the eagle or whatever. I'm assuming it's an eagle. You, we associate Talon with eagle. The, uh, the big crest on the chest piece. That's fantastic. And uh, yeah, the design of the armor. Look at it. The full, the full coat. You know, small, almost business-like type jacket at the top with shoulder pads, and then you've got this, this slim undercoat in this bodysuit almost that fits perfectly to the body, and then this long. I, I don't know what to call these skirts, cloaks. I don't know what to call robes. Robes, I guess, would be the best thing. But yeah, absolutely fantastic looking. Um, again, this set's one of the more elegant sets for the Warlock. Which is great. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Talon for boots. Knowledge in its own end. Is its own end, my apologies. Talon the Shatter. So yeah, this is some sort of collective guardian wisdom pool i don't know it's like is it was it built on is it a is it a collective design piece um by several guardians and the boots again so simple but so elegant now look at the detail on the boots you've got the two straps you've got the iconography just on the front of the shin uh, where the tongue of a normal shoe the tongue of a normal shoe would be you know the double crisscross straps just above the icons there uh, the belt system and i mean just the detailing that they don't have to go into what they do that's what there's still some things to appreciate about destiny and the detail the gunplay and the gameplay is one of them uh, they're missing so much though guys we've got to admit that if you're if you're a proper destiny fan and you want destiny to do well you've got to admit that the, there's overwhelming flaws that clearly outpace the positives um well this is why they've lost several million players and there's only a fraction of the play base left it took me seven minutes to find a heroic strike match and when i finally got in there i was with one other player that's how few players are missing uh how few players are actually playing this earth. but anyway the law of the bun you will find the nightmares grow worse thank, thank thankfully you no longer have need of sleep okay um interesting again the wall up on there lovely looking bond i gotta say and uh I think that's pretty much it in a nutshell. We don't need to make this a 20 minute video, which I'll probably end up being because I always go off on a tandem and digress and then uh, talk about shaders. Um, but, I mean, that's a lovely looking set, guys. you got to admit, that's pretty nice looking. Let's just admit that to each other at least. Come on, guys, we can do it. Okay, let's, let's go through the new shit. A lot of this stuff doesn't look very nice, but some of it looks pretty good. Okay, so we've got Dawning Brilliance. Not bad, but I've never, I'm never, never been a fan of blue and greens unless it's. A green that's like a toxic, luminous green. You know, like you'd see that. Imagine radiation in a cartoon, brown, glow green, uh, glowing bright green. Sorry, never a fan of blue. I've got to be honest. It's too cool of a colour, too neutral. Dawning warmth. Okay. So where's the blue on this then? What did they highlight as blue on this? It's interesting. It's not a very nice set of colours, is it? I mean, it, sometimes I think they just randomise colour sets. They've got like a program that randomises four colours, puts them in, and then it'll give you like thousands of permutations of four different random variations. Like they'll have like 300 variations of the colour blue and yellow and brown and white. Put them all together, and then someone will print out a shitload or they'll, all, you know, whatever, and then someone will pick one and go, yeah, that's the one. Um, it feels like, because there's no way people pick these colours and go, that's a good idea. Because these, these shaders are horrendous, some of them. I mean, some of them look totally different on weapons. Um, I don't mind that sort of bogey green. That's okay. I, I kind of like the blue on the helmet. i got to admit, the blue and the, the grey. I don't know why I like that. It's weird. Maybe because it's like a metallic -y shiny blue. I don't know. But overall, it's just a pretty unimpressive, generic um, colour set. So, thank God, discipline. So, look. I've been looking at some of these Vanguard stuff and there's been a lot of orange that's been spreading on big chunks of the armour and it looks fantastic on the Hunter, some of it. So not very good here, mainly blue, one piece of orange, nah, screwed it. 
So that's why I want to just quickly check out Blue Geometry because again on the Hunter, big chunks have been orange and it's been looking alright. I mean that's not bad but it's too much blue I think. When I was on the Hunter a lot of it's orange rather than blue. That's still, I do like that orange, I've got to admit. So. Karos Bronze. Actually have I done the Karos armor set for... Because I've got the full set now. Have I done it for the, the war? I'll have to go look after this, guys. If I've not done it, I will do it. I apologise. My bad. So, okay. So we've got the Descendant Vex Chrome now. Some of this stuff looks like rust. That's the one. Yeah. That grey, grey monkey rust. That's copper. It's like copper's gone rusty or something. I don't know. I don't mind the grey purple, but I ah, the, the monkey helmet. When you put it on like armor sets that are full metal, like the entire armor set's covered in that grey. So it's like bleh. Chrome. That's not too bad. It's white and gold. That's that's all right actually. I mean, it's not not amazing, but it's not bad. I can get away with that. Um, desert of gold. So desert of gold. So yeah. So again, I think on the hunter, this actually looks pretty good because there's a lot of orange and yellow uh, that spreads throughout the cloaks and the armor set. So it's pretty damn nice. That's not too bad. Oh, sorry, my bad. The same one again. Metallic Sunrise. Let's look at this. So, yeah, and they're so ordinary, they're so mank. Like, again, on weapons, because you, you limit the amount of colours on a weapon, it's just the two colours on a weapon, it's sometimes just one. Uh, some of these look really good on weapons. Like one of these that's got the orange in it, you put it on a weapon, the entire weapon's orange, and it looks great. It looks fantastic. Maker of Prophetic. Again, oh, it's. It's so like, I know what they're going for. They're going for like dull metals, like non-metallic metals and things like that. Matte, matte finishes. It just I don't know. Maybe it works better on like on, on the Titan with full like metal suits. I don't know, but it doesn't look good on cloth. So the gold, Karis gold. No, 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 no. Can't do it. Okay, and Mercury Chrome. Then we'll have got a few you know usual favorites. Again, it's it's, you know, it's this like dull dull metal. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Like, there were some fantastic shaders in Destiny One. Absolutely amazing. Then they come up with this shit. They come up with this absolute bullshit that's like oh, disposable. Oh, it's so frustrating. I mean, that looks okay though. That looks all right. But I have this new Monarch in a lot of stuff because it does look good on shitloads of stuff. Uh, new Monarch definitely over the Regalia. Um, Iron Wolf. I mean, we know this silver and gold. Looks fantastic. Looks better on full metal sets because it's nearly all silver and looks great. Uh, what we got? What we got? What we got? Let's have a look. Oh, self cut midnight talus. This was one of the first uh, armor sets that I got. So is it in midnight talus then? I think that's its standard color, is it not? Or did I did I turn it that color? No, I think that's. I'm pretty sure midnight talus is its standard color. Let's have a look. You know what? We'll have a look at the end. Uh, we'll do the uh, monochromatic. This works on 95% of, of well, 90% of uh, armor sets. Looks a bit too um, sterilized there. Looks a bit too plasticky on the helmet. And the, uh, it looks better on other stuff, but still. Um, okay. The hacker. This looks great on some hunter stuff, guys. Looks really fantastic. Um, it looks a bit 70s, but somehow they managed to get away with it. Not two seventies, you know. If it were a bit browner, it'd be like whoa seventies. But yeah, I managed to get away with it. Okay, let's have a look at the endless glory, which is I think is a crucible. Uh, wow, that is crucible and a half, eh? That's impressively like vibrant. I'm not saying it's impressive, but I could I could see that working, you know. I see that working. Um. Anyway. Let's have a look at us one last one. Mm, I don't I don't like the purple with the white and gold, I've got to admit, I'm not a fan. It's okay, it is pretty regal though, I've got to admit, it's pretty emperory. And the gun, look at the gun, do you see the gun there in gold and white? That looks great in Carlos is on. Um but anyway, guys, um the Egos Talent set, I'm sorry, it's I've had this for probably I've had I've been looking for everything apart from the boots for a long, long time, and then I pretty much got them just as the update come out, and for some reason I've just not got around to doing this video, and I don't know why, and I apologise greatly. Um, guys, I want I want you guys, and I'll keep moaning about this, but I want you guys to watch Horizon Zero Dawn. And I want you to watch Neo Automata, but not many people watch it, I understand the long, hour-long videos minimum. 
because of the mission lengths and stuff. But they're such fantastic games. If you want a break from the monotony of Destiny, I, 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 I advise Horizon Zero Dawn. Absolutely one of the best games of the decade, let alone on the PS4. Neo Automata. One game at year, I think it won several awards at the game. It's amazing, guys. The soundtrack, the the RPG design, it's phenomenal. And Gravity Rush. Well, I've not played it yet. I've seen the gameplay. It looks amazing. Big open world. Basically, where you defy gravity. It looks fantastic. So, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you have a great Christmas and a new year. And I hope to start growing the channel. I forget to say this. Please subscribe or mention my channel to anyone if you think it's worth mentioning. I, I never really promote myself. Um, it might be worth. I'm going to start mentioning this at the start of videos, but it might be worth knocking that notification bell next to uh, the subscription to highlight when I post videos because everyone's noticed that if you don't watch channels for a while, you get you get deselected, you get unsubscribed to them, which is frustrating. Uh, YouTube, I've no right to do that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Oh, you're having a great Christmas. Oh, you got what you wanted. For those that aren't as fortunate, please, everyone, send out your... I'm not a religious guy, but send out your prayers and good wishes. Maybe the universal will, um, answer. There are a lot of people out there. We have families and on the streets. And um, Christmas, it's always rough because it's cold, guys. And, yeah. Let's wish everyone that's not as fortunate as us the best we can possibly do for them. If you can afford to donate, please donate. Um... Anything you can do to help, food, clothing, money, anything, guys. Just, just. I know it's, a, I know it's a hassle when, when it's not part of your routine, and it's something you have to go out your way. It feels like it's a hassle and a, a hassle and a burden. But let's try and get past that, guys, and let's start doing some good this year. Okay, okay, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great time, and I'll see you all on the next one. So cheers.